29th of May, 1941. Following the success of the retrieval of the Enigma machine and the recovery of two crew members from the sunk U-boat, U-96 has been tasked once again to head to the Black Pit. Our orders will be to travel to sector BE2 to BE5 in the North Atlantic and travel approximately 2,250 kilometers inside to complete our patrol. We may receive additional orders after reaching the area. Anticipated number of vessels in the area is expected to be small. Additional objectives are to sink 7,000 tons of merchant shipping. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, on the route, we've spotted an aircraft. I think she's coming low. And she's diving down. We're, um... We've moved up to flank speed. She's coming in for an attack run now. Right, we're turning hard to starboard. Hopefully that should allow us to duck the worst of it. Couple of hits. Ooh, it's close. Rudder right midships. Should come around again. Actually, let's keep going to starboard. I don't know how many uh, racks of depth charges she has on board. More than I'd like. Continue to turn until she's out. Caught us unawares, which is not good. I have to have a word with the watch team. Don't believe we suffered any damage in that attack, which is good. One thing we did forget to do was to remove the crate of cheese off the back deck from the last mission. So we still have that on board, strapped down. I think she might be leaving us alone. She's out there. Um, what I'm going to do, she's clearly circling around to um, keep an eye on us and then radio our location back in. So. Uh, let's dive down um, and get out of the uh, and get out of her way. Hi everyone, welcome back. We've been on patrol for several days now. Uh, and look at that, dead ahead, smoke on the horizon. And you can just about make out a ship on the... Uh... Yeah, can't quite, quite see what it is. But yeah, we definitely got a ship dead ahead. So we're trying to close in now. It looks like a single merchant. Uh, if that's the case, then we may... Well, we... we when we get closer, we'll see, see what nationality she is. Uh, we'll board her if she is not um, immediately obvious an enemy. And uh, check out her itinerary and everything to make sure that she is uh, legitimate neutral shipping. Um, but I suspect, because of the Black Pit, this could well be you know an enemy uh, merchant ship trying to sneak across to the uh, United States. So um, we're going to try and close her down. Single ship on their own. I think we can uh, go in on the surface and maybe use the deck gun. It's quite a nice day. Um, so that's what we're going to try and do. Okay, here we are then. An Empire ship over there. Ooh, hit the water just nearer. 
Got some armor piercing loaded at the moment. Let's just try and put some holes along the um, hull line. I didn't see where that went. Hopefully that was on target. Now, got to be a bit careful because she is zig zigging and zagging a little bit. So we don't want to get too close because she may come and take the opportunity to try and charge us. Which wouldn't be ideal. We've we, we got 27 um, high explosives. As she's presenting her stern to us, we might as well try and hit it with as much. Fire and deck. There we go. Straight into the funnel that was, or just at the base of the funnel. Right. Let's chance following her around. Okay, fire's gone out. Looks like she's been abandoned. I guess there's no harm in uh, trying to get her down and then we'll go and see if we can uh, <coughs> help any remaining crew members out. Just head over there. There you go. Just trying to put some holes in it actually, but a fire will do. Okay, yeah, that ship is well and truly alight now. Um, there's not much cargo we're going to be able to recover from that, it doesn't look like. Um, yeah, she's not long for this world. The crew in the lifeboat thankfully have got out, which is good to see. We'll go and offer them some assistance and... If nothing else, give them some supplies. And she's gone. And there's actually two lifeboats out there. There's more crew than I expected. So let's um, see if we can help these guys out. Ooh, who's that? That's uh, five survivors over here. We've got the captain, Philip Keyes, an engineer, Richard Frost. Welcome aboard. Guys, you can all come on. And the last lifeboat, we can offer some of them. There you go. That's all we can offer. And the rest we will give some supplies to. Good luck, boys. The officers that have been rescued. And the engineer, but uh, the rest of you, you're on your own, I'm afraid. Good, right, our first kill of the day. That's 2,822 tons confirmed. So what we'll do, we'll continue on our patrol and uh, try and hunt down some more sh single ships. As I say, the uh, expected number of ships in this area is going to be small. So we're most likely going to be picking off um, single merchant ships, trying to make the journey on their own. Which suits me down to the ground. It makes it a lot easier to use the deck gun. Save the expensive torpedoes for when we really need them. Uh, but for now we're going to continue on the patrol. And see if we can find anybody else. We've just received a message from the BDU. Hans Jürgen is currently uh, decrypting it as we speak. And hopefully we'll get their words of wisdom any moment now. Uh, we have information that critical technology has been loaded on a freighter, USS Proteus. It must be sunk at all costs. Its predicted location is 4715 North, 1957 West. Confirmation! Right, let's go hunting a probably Swedish ship. <laughs> right, always good fun when we got a hunt. Okay, we've come to the location, and we're going to keep an eye out. We believe 
We just heard a uh, ship on the hydrophone directly in front of us. Oh, there's smoke there. Look, we've got a convoy. Chance a bit more height. Oh, it's quite a big convoy. Looks like a large. Oh, destroyer to to lead the. Oh, hello. That looks like a cruiser. Can't see what that is. Wow. Okay, this is quite the um, quite the party, it would seem. There is a cruiser, which is so tempting, but we shouldn't get dragged away from our objective, which is to sink the, the merchant tonnage. There's two cruisers. What's the distance? Um, there you go, county class cruiser. Um, oh, wrong one, sorry, that one. Right there. Ah, it's right. At, it's really long range. Really long range. Um, can I even do speed check? I can't quite see the bow. Do you know what? I don't think we're in a good position to take on the cruisers. Um, so we'll see if we can slip in, hit the. Uh, ship that we need to maybe duck out and then try and get ahead of these guys and maybe have another attack on the uh, the cruisers. I don't know why we bother really. I know it's exciting attacking a cruiser and a aircraft carrier and all that good stuff, but we don't get that much in the way of reward for it. Yes, we get some kudos, but we don't get any monetary or. <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't think we get any monetary. We certainly don't get the um, progression we need on our patrol. That's all down to the merchant tonnage. Alright, we're just going to try and... I'm slightly slow starting this. We're going to have to kind of guess where the end of the ship is. Oh, that, that completely bodged. That completely bodged because we lost track of her. Oh, what a waste of time. There's a destroyer there. Let's not bother then. All right. I need to get closer, I think. I need to get closer. Right. Scope down. I'll black the engines for a bit. Hopefully they're not going to hear us. We can get a little bit closer. Hi, everyone. Right. We've moved into a different position. So what we've done, we let the convoy pass. We head, headed down and we're now south of the convoy. We were north of the convoy previously. Um, but we've managed to get ahead of her by uh, going south of the convoy and... Ooh, that's coming straight for me. Um, and then servicing the boat and um, blasting along as fast as we possibly can. Right, they're a bit far away at the moment, so let's risk maximum height. There's the there's one of the, uh, the cruisers. There's a ship over there. There's another of the cruiser closer to us. County class cruisers. That's one of the <laughs> ships. That looks like a. Is that the one? Because it's got a green dot on it. Slightly given away by the uh, UI here. And that looks like a. Maybe an oil tanker? Still quite a long ways away. Looks like a, an Empire class ship. Another Empire class ship. Possibly a Liberty. What's that? Is that a... Can't quite get it in range yet. I suspect... Hmm, that could be all... I suspect one of these... That's the merchant. That's coming straight for us. Hmm. That's a destroyer. Yeah, I was going to say, I was expecting one of these on the uh, the fringes to be a destroyer. Um, One of the sort of escort 
ships in the kind of the uh, the skirt around them. Uh, let's have a look on the hydrophone map. So far, um, got an unknown ship there. We got uh, this is the destroyer. He's coming straight for us. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. So, um, we're just going to try and yeah, keep it keep it low. To the, actually, let's keep the periscope down for the time being, and uh, we'll just use the hydrophone and let them come a little bit closer. All right, we've got a chance to have a look. A bit of time has passed. Where's that? Where's that destroyer gone? Oh, oh, mist is rolled in. Fan fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Bloody weather. The mist has decided to roll in. Can't see anything. Wonderful. Fan. Tazzy Dastic. Right, so as you see, there are ships apparently ahead of us, but we're not going to see them. So, um, what is the range, approximately, from where that will be, about there? 1,700 metres. Right. Let's move forward, then. Let's bring that down to about uh, 500 metres. Hopefully, we'll be out of range of this warship. Well, as in a direct path. Uh, we might be able to have a shot at some of these larger freighters in the middle. It seems to be like the large freighters are in the middle. Then you've got smaller freighters around the outside. Then you've got the uh, escort ring as well. That's it's quite a big ship. But it looks like a merchant. I think there's more ships, but we're not quite seeing on the hydrophone. Yes. Okay. We've moved a little bit closer. Waited a bit more time. Because I'm hoping there's a ship there. I can't see anything, you see. How am I supposed to identify a ship that we need to sink? You can't even see the bloody ships. Which one have I... It's that one there. There's, there's a real close one over here somewhere, which I can't see. Ah. Is it that one? No, it's... I have no idea which... This is thick fog. It's got to be that one then, hasn't it? Which I still can't see. Right, we've got a ship we can finally see. The SS Stored. Well, she's an NA-1 freighter. She's gone past the best point. Ah, oh, let's not bother. Let's wait for the next one. What's that? Can we look on that one? Apparently not. Okay, we've finally started to see some ships now. We've got close enough. Um, that is uh, the SS Stored. He's, um, he's going off at an angle which we're not going to get a good shot at. Um, it could be the case that we may not get my torpedoes being warmed up. But we won't. Let me get that sorted. What, what have we got there? Got an unknown ship. Zero data collected. This one here. Ooh, that's quite a large. I think if we can have a couple of shots of these two. Um, problem is we don't know what that kind of ship is. That is the problem. How are we supposed to identify it without cheating? I suppose we're just gonna have to cheat, are we? That looks like a little liberty. Perhaps. The velocity we know is 6.8. Um, so 6.8. We'll work out. Okay, well, we'll have to work out the distance via the hydrophone because there's no other way of doing it. Oops, wrong tool. We'll also get the range doing it this way. So we've got a range of 1575 meters, an angular bow of 63. Angular bow of 63. 
There you go. And 1500 meters. It just over, wasn't it? What did I actually say it was? 1575. There we go. Right. Um, get that locked and tracking. Oh god. It's his course. Um Is that course? Rotate the arrow to visually match the course of your target. Something like that. Oh, let's do angle bow. Angle bow, yeah, we know what that is. Um it's sixty one, wasn't it? Was it now? It's currently sixty four. There we go. Right. Tube one, tube two. What is the... What's the debris of a... 134 meters. 135 meters. 120, 35 meters about there, right. happy 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 how are we doing ready to fire fire best solution is gone so fire when ready Close. firing into the unknown because I can't see blooming anything right let's get tube three and let's get um can we, oh, hopefully we'll get that reloaded right next you there Where's you? Oh, it's so you over the way. There, we probably won't fire at you. Probably get one for this one here. If we can find this one, it's going to be very close, actually. That's going to be about 600 meters. Wow. So torpedoes have gone against that ship into the mist. Will they hit? Who knows? They look good. Okay, one of the torpedoes hit, one of them just snuck behind. Um, she's okay. Just see, I heard the radio transmission from the damaged ship. Is that her there? I don't know. Oh! USS Proteus is transmitting. Where's that coming from? Any indication? So we've struck this one, and this one we need to um, potentially have a lock. At. There's a destroyer there, destroyer there. Hmm. Don't know how the ship's doing, do we? No, she's hit. She's um transmitted something on the radio. They're at high alert, but they're not uh maybe we could send another torpedo their way. Oh, I found her! The SS Proteus, there she is. Apparently. Um well, oh god, we don't know any of this. Where where's where is she then? Hang on. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh is it it's this one. Why I can see her clear as day here, but not actually on the uh on the map. So let me just do another speed check. They were doing six point 6.7. Oh, hang on. That wasn't reset. Let's start that again. We'll do a one minute one. Just so we can do a quick check. Let's destroy there. Need to keep an eye on that one. It's the one we damaged, but hasn't sunk. Hopefully, she'll drop back and we can. Um, Finish off the deck gun. Uh, 
See, that gives you the impression that we should be able to see it, but the fog is so thick. It's 30 seconds. Now, there's undoubtedly going to be a little bit of a speed change since that um, ship got torpedoed. We definitely need it because we need that's going to be at least two ships to get the rest of that 5,000 tons or 4,200 tons, whatever. Alright, stand by. This is going to be one minute. There we go. Thank you. Um, let's get that measured. So, one minute. She's doing 174 meters. One minute, 174 meters is so there you go 185 would be six knots so they're doing five and a half knots about so they have dropped speed that's interesting you thought you'd pick up speed wouldn't you anyway let's have a look we can't see so we're gonna have to use the cheat mode let's get her identified Is she an Empire Bell? Let me just go back and have a look at that. Um, mast, 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 mast. Okay, let's have a look. Empire Tower. Right, so we reckon her velocity is about five and a half knots. So we'll get that changed. Um, her angle of bow coming slightly towards us, which is not ideal, I'll be honest. Uh, 34 degrees and 900 and something meters. 34 degrees. The distance is 915-ish meters. Right. Oh, hello. I can just about see you now. Right, tube three. Are you ready to go? Right, fire. Lord! And if that's not going to work, we can then use tube four and I adjust slightly. That has just sneaked in front of it. I I couldn't believe that it didn't actually hit. Um so let's What do we have the speed at? Five and a half. Let's try that five knots then. Right, almost there she is. Um tube four then. Adjusted the speed. Fire. No! Tube 2 is currently being reloaded. That's us out of torpedoes for the moment. Okay, it's a good hit. She's got the fire going. See a ship behind it now. Difficult. We can see ships as soon as we don't have a torpedo to fire. I'm so annoying. That first one just zipped under her bow. But she's definitely, definitely taking on water. She's trying to slip into the mist, but you can see the bow is definitely lifting. Come on, Proteus. Sink, damn it. She's gunning her engines, probably. Try and stay awake. To try and stay with it just above water. Okay, you can see her end is nigh. She's going down. Brilliant. 
It's the uh, crew of abandoned ship. Mission complete. There we go. Confirmation. She has been confirmed as sunk. Happy days. Right. Uh, as I predicted, that would still leave us short in the tonnage we require. Now, I think it was this one we hit, was it? Liberty Freighter. Restored. Yeah, it must be this one. So let's get moving. It's going to be a terrible angle. Actually, maybe we can have a shot at this one. Quite a big distance away, though. Uh, yeah, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Torpedoes have been reloaded. And let's see what we can do to finish this tonnage off. Thankfully, this fog is working in our favour because the destroyers haven't got a clue where anyone is either, which is fantastic news as well. Okay, in the diminishing light and the increased fog, those ships are just sailing away from us. We can't keep up. The one we hit, um, but didn't sink, is still going and she's still going at a pace. So it doesn't seem to be, uh, the damage we did doesn't seem to be anything um, which is going to slow her down, which will mean she'll drop out the convoy for us to finish off later. Which is disappointing, because that would have worked out lovely. Um... Torpedoes have been reloaded now, which is good. What we can do then? Um, what is the time? What is the time, Mr. Wolf? Uh, it is 20 to 11 in the evening. So what we could do is potentially surface and try and get ahead of them again. Let's just make sure that this tonnage is being added to... Yes, it is, into the Black Pit. Fantastic. Yeah, 10% 10, 10 done. It's good to see. <laughs> Got a lot to do there. Um, but that's okay. So yeah, I might well do that. I might head out here, surface the boat, and see if we can charge and get ahead of them again. Okay, bit of time's passed. We have caught up with that formation. Um, they've kind of split a little bit, which has not made it ideal. We've got a destroyer turning around behind us. Um, but hello. Oh, it's a radio. I thought, I thought there was a little orange face looking back at me. I thought, what is that? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Captain taken by surprise. Let's get some torpedoes warmed up. You're already warming some torpedoes up. Wonderful. Um, so this is an Liberty by looks of it. Good stuff. Right. I'm so aware of that destroyer behind us. Um, as I cough and splutter my way through this. Right. So we've got a ship there now. We're going to have to work out the um, speed. Oh, look at that. Um, we are moving, so any uh, reading is not going to be terribly accurate. But, um, oh, it's not really going to do like that at all. Where are we? All right. So that gives us uh, 103 and 3,100 meters. So 103, there we go, and what did I say? 3,100 meters. And let's go, um, speed 6 knots-ish, kind of guessing there. All right. Oh, I hate this one. I've already <laughs> calculated it, and then I suppose we could do a speed check, couldn't we? Uh, what was that? 103. Distance was 300. Yeah, something like that. Uh, we could do a velocity check. Rohr 1, bewässern. Rohr 3, bewässern. I might do a, a free um, spread. Okay, that didn't work very well, did it? You can't clearly do anything when you're doing that. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
four knots. Okay, going a lot slower than I thought they were. Um, four knots, good. Gone past the best point of firing. Let's just double check. Oh, I got a destroyer coming straight in for us. Not good. Angle about is 119 and 2800. 119. Wrong side. I'm glad I realised that. Oh, they got it right. Well done. Four knots and 2800. Right. Um, we've got 130. Fire. Knots. One. Two. I shouldn't really move this around. Right. Flank speed ahead, we're doing. Um, crash depth. Meter. Crash dive. Destroyer coming right in. Okay, confirmation received from the hydrophone. Three good hits, and she sunk pretty damn quick, which is good. Alright, just coming in here. Currently down. What are we down at? 150 meters. All looking good. Just got that one destroyer above us. We're just sitting quietly, and hopefully, he will soon pass by. Hi everyone, a bit of time has passed, it's now 4 o'clock in the morning and it looks like that destroyer is getting bored and is ready to leave us alone. No depth charges dropped, they never really identified where we were despite two of them going straight over us and this one who's just in the area now, you can still see on the hydrophone, he actually stopped on top of us for a time and I thought, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> what's happening here? But um, it just... Um, Went about his business, so uh, no depth charge dropped, which is good. Good news for us. So here we are, mission debriefing, back in port. Uh, campaign objective progress. Um, so we've sunk the Avondale Park Freighter for 7,203 tons. And the USS Pro Proteus for 2,962 tons. Which means the Black Pit has now moved on to 12,987 tons uh, of the 50,000 required to complete that campaign mission. So, the Angelus was sunk. Uh, we got 200 money for that. Our sources inform us that this ship was headed from Liverpool to Boston with medical supplies in the cargo hold. The ship uh, G GRT, gross registered tonnage, was 2,822 tonnes. It was registered ship of Canada. The USS Proteus, 
Our sources inform us that this ship was headed from Halifax to Liverpool with the utilities in the cargo hold. The ship's GRT was 2,962 tons. It was a registered ship of Canada. And the Avondale Park was sunk. Our intel tells us that the ship had uh, 7,203 tons and was transporting utilities from Halifax to Liverpool, registered to Canada. Sorry, Canada. We seem to have attacked you um, quite badly in this mission. However, uh, our reward is 66% reputation boost and 12,000 money. Tonnage sunk was 12,987 tons. <coughs> Excuse me while I choke away. Uh, time at 15 days, 13 hours at sea. Uh, we travelled 4,949.7 kilometres. We got the three confirmation of ship sunk. Uh, that mission completed as well. And everything seems to be going well. So the crew of U-96 have another mission under their belts. Um, I think we're probably going to get more fuel, some more torpedoes and head back to the Black Pit. Now we've got some research under development at the moment. We've got the snorkel and the um, radar detection as well, which will be very useful when we go closer to shores. So... Yeah, any other missions we may hold off until we get some more upgrades to the boat. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but we're going to leave it there for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this U-boat playthrough with U-96. Uh, if my threat allows me, we'll be back again next time for some more adventures. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.